Hello, fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Welcome to your reading signs. You are about to meet your soulmate. I'm going to be using a couple of decks to see what things could be happening, what signs and symbols you might be seeing, or you might be even dreaming um, just before your soulmate comes into your life. So super excited to be doing this reading and of course to have you join me for it. So don't forget to leave behind a like if you enjoy this content um, and also to subscribe to the channel to get updates for when new readings come out. Uh, there's a lot of new content coming so stay tuned otherwise let's give the cards a good shuffle. Um, and see what are the signs and symbols you're about to meet your soulmate. Okay, we have the Two of Cups. Really, really powerful. Some of you are currently in a relationship with your soulmate already, or you've already met each other. You're in a number two vibration. Okay, we've got the Ten of Wands, Five of Wands. Some of you have potentially broken up with this person or have broken up. There's been a lot of conflict, um, a lot of fire energy. There's something that they've been doing that you're opposed to. Um, I also feel with the Ten of Wands and the Five of Wands, what's happening here is that right before you meet your soulmate, I feel like there's a, a, a powerful falling out, okay? Um, I feel like one of the signs here is that you're going to say goodbye to a lot of people in your life, maybe professionally um, or platonically. Okay, you're sort of going to be exiting um, people's lives or uh, you might be noticing a lot of people exiting your life. You know, they're moving on, they're changing jobs, they're embarking on a new chapter. You're going to start to see that void, I feel. Um, okay, you've got the Nine of Swords reversed. We have the Queen of Wands We've got the death card, so there's a strong Scorpio, um, strong Scorpio energy coming through. So either you're meeting this person in the time of Scorpio, or they may have Scorpio placement in their natal birth chart. Um, the death card is about the past. It's also about change. So for some of you, right before your soulmate comes in, you might have someone from the past come back into your life. Uh, perhaps an ex reaching out, um, someone you used to work with, you might bump into them, um, something from your childhood. Uh, or someone that you used to know, um, sort of the past somehow makes makes a comeback into your life right before you meet your soulmate. Um, it could also be with a death card. It's often connected to like a past life connection. So I feel for a lot of you, um, you'll have some sort of link to your past life right before your soulmate shows up into your life as well. Um, but it can also be loss, okay, huge loss um, right before you meet your soulmate. So um, you might lose a person, you might lose a possession, um, an old way of life might be dying. You might be clearing out and, and um, enduring some sort of major transformation that helps to invite this person into your, um, into your path here. Um, but the Two of Cups says to me it's happening very, very soon. Uh, it makes me think for some of you, you may be in a relationship when you meet your soulmate. There may be someone else here around you that you'll currently be committed to, uh, and then that person shows up into your life. We've got the Ten of Wands, so there's, it's almost like you're going to receive some sort of test from the universe right before this person shows up. Now, for some of you, it could be a test at work. Uh, for some of you, it could be a testing period in your life. For some of you, it could be like your children testing you, or it's almost like there's, there's, there's going to be some sort of setback. Uh, and this setback is almost like going to prepare you for this relationship and for what's to come with this person somehow. So that's very powerful as well. The Queen of Wands is often read as a Leo. So I may be talking more to my Leos here when I say this, or this person could be under the sign of a Leo, or you may meet in the time of Leo season. Um, but some of you are coming into like either more confidence or you're coming into a leadership role right before you meet your soulmate. Okay, so you're pioneering something, you might be entering a competition, uh, you might meet someone um, physically, okay, and, and develop a physical attraction. Uh, the queen, um, queen of ones, you could also indicate um, you find uh, or uncover a life passion or a life purpose right before you meet this person. So I think there's a lot of change, a lot of transitions that will take place, but a lot of hardships and you're going to bounce back, uh, fire signs. You're very, very resilient. And I think this is something you'll be able to take and, and, and fight it, dispute it, utilize it, and be able to move forward. And I think what it is, it's, it's ultimately the universe, God's spirit, is preparing you for this relationship. Um, 
And you know, the two of cups, it can also be that some of you, you might have, you might make a new best friend, okay? The sign here that is, is that there might be a very special person that enters your life that somehow introduces you to this soulmate or somehow plays a significant role into the development of that connection. Um, you have someone next to you here, so it's almost like you're going to be receiving a lot of support and, and, and um, encouragement from the, 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 the tests or the setbacks you've been having, uh, you've been having or you will have. Um, and that's sort of going to set you up, I should say, um, for what's to come. I've got the five of pentacles and this is, could be very much financial hardship. So some of you, a key sign that you're about to meet your soulmate is, is that you might be unsure about what you want to do for work. You might be draining your savings. You might be overspending. Um, it could indicate that um, it could be that your hours are cut back at work. Um, the seven of pentacles makes me think that there's going to be like, you're going to be focusing on money, on how to make more money, invite more money into your life, have a better relationship with money. Um, or there's going to be big transition in your monetary um um, realm. So you might receive an inheritance. Um, you might sort of, it's almost like you're going to be pushed up against the wall. Your back's going to be pushed up against the wall. And from that, you're going to thrive. And like I said, it's sort of going to snowball um, and eventuate into you meeting this person. Um, but really powerful. It could also be that someone um, comes to you for financial help. Uh, a friend, a parent, a relative, a sibling, someone's going to come to you for support, financial support, financial help. And that's going to be a clear cut sign because you're going to be in a position to help someone. And through that help, through that giving back, you're going to channel these sorts of vibrations to meet, um, to meet this, this soulmate and invite them into your life. Um, and that's huge. Absolutely. That's huge. Uh, let's see what else. See what else comes up for you. Okay, some of you, you're going to be involved in a lover's triangle. Uh, the symbol here uh, or the sign here is that you're going to have your soulmate and another significant person come into your life. And I'm not surprised. Some of you may even engage in affairs and, and sort of this, this behavior here. Be careful. Um, Aries coming through. So that could be a Aries sign or a Pisces sign coming in, possibly a Leo here as well. Um, and that might be the sign of your soulmate or you might be connecting or meeting in Aries, Pisces or Leo season as well. Um, the magician says to me that this is going to happen very quickly. It's a very fast paced energy, um, or the relationship is going to happen very fast. Okay. You'll move in together. Um, you'll meet very fast. You'll become involved in an exclusive relationship very, very quickly. Things are going to be fast paced or this person will want to move very, very quickly. Uh, for some of you, it could be that you're going to be entering into like, um, individual success. And the message here from the magician is, is that, Right before you meet your soulmate, you might start something, okay? You might start your own business. You might do freelance work. You might be more independent. You might change your identity, your name, your status in the world. There's something about that inner self-transformation that will take place here. Um, you might also get a lot of signs, messages, dreams, and premonitions with the Page of Cups as well, okay? So um, emotionally, you're going to be much more emotional, okay? So you'll be like wow, I'm in this emotional energy, or you might cry very unexpectedly, or you might just feel a lot of deep empathy, very, um, very much so for someone you hardly even know. Uh, there's going to be a lot of ways your emotions will surprise you. And that could be a very telling sign um, that your soulmate is about to enter into your life. But I also feel for some of you with the Three of Swords, there is some sort of hardship and it is connected to love and it's connected to options in love or even heartbreak. Some of you may be healing from hurt or deceit or pain that you've caused or that's been caused to you. Uh, and that's when you're going to meet this person. And maybe they're here to help lift you up and, and bring you into that magician energy, which I think they will. And they're going to be that Two of Cups. They're the ride or die um, fire signs. They're the ones that stick with you through thick and thin. They're the ones that want to make it... Um, make it with you. So really, really powerful. I think this is very life changing and life altering, but I hope these signs, symbols, and messages have been helpful. If they have, don't forget to leave behind a like, and please subscribe to the channel. 
Uh, there's a lot more content coming, so it'd be great to have you tune into that. And of course, support the channel. So thank you so much for joining my YouTube family. Uh, all the best, fire signs, and bye for now.